Hello, uh, I'm uh, Mark Rickenbach. I'm a GP, GP trainer, and a visiting professor of healthcare and education at Winchester University. And I want to talk briefly about the issue of visas for doctors who complete their training. Now, if you're on a Tier 2 visa, when you complete your training, you will find that there is no sponsorship for you to stay in the country. Uh, Health Education England is normally the sponsor while you're in training, but that ends as soon as you complete your certificates. So therefore, you need to be looking for uh, an alternative sponsor. Now, those alternative sponsors have to be approved, uh, and that ap requires an application for, that takes about three months to go through. And then those alternative sponsoring employers have to get certification for an individual doctor to work in their post. And that takes about three months, two to three months as well. For that reason, you need to be aware that you should apply for posts some six months before you complete your training. Otherwise, you may be left in a situation where you don't have a visa to stay in the UK. Now, it's worth your educational supervisor discussing this with you and recording this in your uh, records um, early on in your post. And you need to plan ahead with the educational supervisor so that you have some idea of when you're applying for jobs and how you will help your employers, future employers, work through the process. You're only able to apply for those posts which have been vacant for 28 days and have been advertised on certain sites. And those sites include Job Centre Plus. Now some uh, NHS advertisements are automatically transferred to those sort of sites. But it's important that the employer records the advertisement number on those sites and ideally takes a screenshot of those advertisements. This is so you can put in evidence that that post meets the resident labour market test. That is advertised on the right sites, hard to fill and vacant for at least 28 days. Now this information may vary and you need to check it's up to date. So I'm giving you the current information in October 2017. And the last thing is that you need to keep records and reference those um, advertisements um, and those post applications. I'm hoping these problems will resolve uh, once a sponsor is set up to continue after the sponsorship from Health Education England ends on completion of training. Perhaps NHS England could carry that on or other organisations. But At the moment there's a bit of a gap. When you complete your training there will be a period when you might not have a sponsor and in that time, if you have a Tier 2 visa, you may have to leave the UK. So think about this and plan ahead. And if you're an educational supervisor, discuss it with your uh, doctor in training. Thank you.